incidentally, uh, Cindy, you remember, uh, Tuesday, October 1st is the 100th anniversary of my mother's birth. And, oh, another story. I, I tend to digress sometimes. Uh, when great-grandpa uh, had his funeral here, uh, Uncle Henry, right? One of the largest ever in Chinatown. Over 100 limousines, right? Well, my father died at 97. 97. 97. And Uncle Henry also told me that the wait before Great Grandpa's funeral lasted nine days, which is sort of unheard of. But the reason they extended the wake was because my father and mother and my sister, when she was two years old, were taking the Amtrak back to Chicago. And they had to wait for the train before the funeral. Am I right, Uncle Henry? Yes, my mother decided that we will wait for Roger to get her because he was the I was a son, but long story short, Roger's father died in 1932 in April. I was born in September 1932. My father always said, my son died, another son came back. Thank you, Henry. The other thing, Mike, uh, so uh, my sister actually remembers that train trip when she was two years old. Three years old? Uh, that's a family picture in the bottom there, and to the right there is uh, the Chinese hospital where my mother uh, uh, gave birth. My mother lives right next door at one time on Stone Alley. But I was born in '48. Uh, my brother was uh, my brother was born first in '47. I was born in '48, and my sister was born in '52. All around Chinese New Year's. So when my brother was a New Year baby. Me Choya. I was born on Nichoyi, my sister Nichoise. <laughs> so, uh, one thing my mother always said that when she was sitting, lying there in the maternity ward, she would always hear the firecrackers. It was New Year's. Right? So, um, I don't know if that means we're lucky or whatever. Uh, and, and so <coughs> I have another brother. brother. What? what did you say, Uncle Henry? It meant you were going to have another brother. Uh, and that, actually, that helped me, inspire me to work on the Chinese New Year Parade, like my cousin Tim uh, back there. Okay, uh, these are chapters in my book. The early period, that decade from 1968 to 77, was really a seminal period in all social movements in this country, but including the Asian American movement. Uh, and for us in San Francisco, uh, before your time, right? In 68, student strike? That's when I was born. Okay. Well, when you were born, uh, Dorothy and I were in the picket line trying to fight for ethnic studies. I, I was born across the street from the I Hotel. You're kidding. I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Before, before the... Uh, before the eviction? Yeah. Wow. The, the eviction was... 77. 70, 70, yeah. Oh, that's, that's great. Well, we'll talk about that hotel in a minute. Okay. Right, so yeah, here are some scenes from the, uh, the first student strike in this country. Right, it wasn't Columbia, it wasn't Berkeley, it was San Francisco State College. And yeah, that's where I met Dorothy Bell. Uh, you can't make out that East-West uh, uh, headline on the bottom, but that's my picture. Uh, it was one of the most important demonstrations in Chinatown in 1968. There were demonstrations before, but that was one of the first, that was the first one where community leaders uh, and student leaders got together and, and marched in Chinatown against uh, slum conditions. That's the I Hotel, uh, which many of you probably heard about. Probably these, uh, one of the most important uh, icons of the Asian American movement. Uh, the eviction of 150 elderly Chinese and Filipinos uh, <clears throat> on August 4, 1977. Uh, and there were 2,000 people there the night of the eviction, uh, holding back 200 cops on horses. And they made a movie about it. And one of my uh, mentors,
mentors in the bottom there, George Wu in the beard. Uh, he was a photographer, but he organized a watching game uh, to do more responsible community stuff and other stuff. Uh, as I mentioned, we're very proud of senior activism. And the above photo uh, shows some of the Chinatown seniors marching on HUD to get our first affordable housing project. Uh, this was in the early 70s. And, and, and you have senior housing here that 